What's up guys? I'm here with Mikey. Mikey's actually gonna be in a video. Can you believe this? You're actually gonna be in a video. But he's never been in a video, so he's finally in a video. We're here at Montauk to catch some striped bass. There's a bunch of guys over here that uh, I guess know something that we don't because their rods are on their trucks and they're just chilling and sitting around. So I don't know if the tide is off or there's no fish here. Very confusing. So we're gonna look real awkward walking down with our rods, but we're here to catch fish. I mean, striper, full moon, harvest moon. I don't know about the tides, but it's the middle of September, so hopefully we catch some fish. What do you have to say? Um, I hope to catch a fish. You think you're usually, a fish? Usually uh, not too good at that, so cross my fingers here. Yes. 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 Come over here. They're right here. Mikey's into one. Mikey's got one. Hold up. Keep tension. Keep tension. All right, give me your rod. Is it? Give me, give me, give me. Yep, yep, you're still in. Dude, dude, it's a striper. All right, Mikey's first striper. Dude. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah, by the mouth. Alright, stay there. What's up guys? Welcome to an unexpected video. Man, oh man. Let's get right into it. So I never really thought I'd be making a video like this. Um, <laughs> one, because I'm like super safe. I don't want to get hurt at all, I hate pain. So uh, I never really thought I'd do something stupid enough to get hurt. We just got to Montauk. We were fishing there for maybe 10, 15 minutes. I hook into a fish, my first striped bass at Montauk ever. I lose it right in front of me. Mikey hooks in, I tell him where to go. We cast, immediately hooks in. That's the story. I have the fish, I'm going to release the fish, and I slip on a rock right into a piece of rebar. Don't, don't even. What? Don't. Ah. Ah. Ah, frick. We gotta go. Get the stuff. We gotta go. I need the closest hospital. What's that? I need the closest hospital. Um, Southampton. I mean, if you go into Montauk, there's probably some uh, weight bolts in there. What, what, 
still. Fell over there in a metal rod. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm wearing my hiking pants that I bought in Alaska uh, a couple weeks ago. And this is actually the pant leg. This is the pant leg that was on my left side that uh, I was wearing and does not have any holes in it whatsoever. I'm turning it, by the way. All right. But my leg does. Crazy. Now, I'm no doctor and I don't know much about this stuff, but we are thinking that the pants, because they're kind of tight around the, uh, the leg, that maybe the fact that the pants went into my leg and then my leg came off of the rebar, we're thinking that because of the pants and the fact that they didn't get ripped, it might have cushioned it to where it didn't go all the way through my leg, which would have been a lot worse than what we're dealing with. So this picture right here is me holding ice on my leg. Um, we actually, I, I had to walk off the lighthouse from the, the point, walk back up to the parking lot and I actually grabbed some people. I'm like, hey, um, do you mind if you walk with me? I have a hole in my leg and just in case something goes wrong, my buddy went about the van. So I had to walk back up there and sit down and wait for uh, Mikey to get the van. So we decided to, to drive to Southampton Hospital. It's about an hour and 10 minutes from Montauk Point. And there was a festival going on at Montauk, so yeah. So this is me, Mikey ran in and got some ice. Um, the blood you see in that picture is not my blood. I did not bleed at all, whatsoever. Um, yeah, and uh, this next picture is actually a picture of the wound. So at this point, uh, we took pressure off from the towel because the cop was there, he wanted to see it, and I'm like, hey dude, while we're here, let me take a picture. Hang on, hang on, the copper's Hello, here. Blood. What happened? Hey, he took a rebar through the leg. A what? A rebar. Spraying or? No, 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 okay. no blood at all. Okay, just pull it up a little bit more. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, while we're here, I'm gonna take a picture for all my friends. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. Yeah. How are you, sir? Hey. <laughs> I assume it didn't happen in the car. Ah, uh, no. That would be <laughs> somewhat be cool. <laughs> Mind if I take it? Yeah, this sure. Yeah. It's uh, right over here. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna I mean, you could bring it down. It's easier. Okay. Nope. I want to keep it right there. Okay, I don't want it to bleed. Okay. It hasn't bled at all, so. Okay. It hasn't bled at all? And not once. Okay. Not any bit of blood. How'd it happen? Okay. Have you been walking? I walked up from the lighthouse. Okay. From the lighthouse? <laughs> yeah. We were we were up we were, we were parked over there. We were around it, so we had to. We had to walk back around the lighthouse up. And just walk to the hospital. Like, yeah, right. I mean, oh, at this point. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how big do you think that is? Good. Two inches. Hey, oh, no one's calling. Okay. Oh, hey, mom. <laughs> yeah, it's about two inches. It looks. How? I don't know how deep. Picture. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a picture when I'm inside the ambulance. All right, I'm gonna go. These guys are pretty cool. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'll call you. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Yep, yeah, so they wrapped it, they made it look nice and they were goopy. This is me on the table, <laughs> sitting in the, uh, I guess the ER area. It looks pretty nasty in these pictures, not gonna lie. But yeah, here are a few pictures of the wound. It's nice and pretty. Josh took these pictures. These, these are the pictures of the guy flushing it, the doctor flushing it out and cleaning it, sewing it back up. Good times. Yeah. They ended up wrapping it and putting seven staples inside. 
first he was like stitches i'm like all right and then he said six staples i'm like oh cool like industrial staples because i make t-shirts so i have to make screen printing things and all i can think of is that big thud thud boof I'm like you have to put a lot of pressure i'm like yeah it's gonna feel great but no it's a it's a nice little you don't even feel it when you're numb the only thing i could think about and the thing i can think about now is the fact that i left a school of striped bass the striped bass were literally jumping at bait right there at the point literally in the rocks like if we were standing where the water was breaking on the rocks we would have fish slapping against us that's how it was um i'm not gonna lie to you guys uh, a lot of people tell me oh you're, you're spot you're spot burning like literally everyone knows montauk they know this time of year um i don't know man it was a full moon friday the 13th so a lot of things went into this but uh it was it's a very different experience I can't walk, really. So like, even if I want to go back out surf fishing, I can't, I can't even stand. I, like I took a shower today and it just hurts like heck now, just from standing straight. And some people be like, oh, it's just a wound, it's a little cut. And I'm like, nah, dude, all right, a piece of rebar went into my muscle. I don't have a lot of muscle on my leg. So for something to rip into my muscle, the little muscle that I have, uh, it hurts. It, it really hurts. They didn't give me any pain meds. I'm on antibiotics. They gave me a tetanus shot. But we were thinking about it, like, after the tetanus shot. I was like, uh, huh. Since it didn't penetrate through my pant leg into my body, is there any rust inside my body? They took x-rays. They didn't see any little fish swimming around in it. Uh, no, no other things that needed to be taken out. So that's good, because I probably would have freaked, like, the only thing I can imagine is like Black Hawk down when they're like going through this guy's thigh. Not that it was anywhere near that, but like <laughs> I don't like doctors or ERs or surgery or anything. So like, I'm like, oh cool. There's going to be like one little piece of metal stuck inside and they're going to like rip open my leg and try to find it and get it out. But no, I, everything went good. Everything went cool. Um, so here we are. I have nothing else to do. So I decided I'd show you guys this video. It might get flagged because of blood but hey it's my story 10 years from now i'm gonna look back at this video and be like remember this because i still do that with all my videos i always look back at them if it's not for any of you guys it's for me you know but today is sunday the 15th september 15th 2019 this happened friday the 13th 20, 2019 and it's been a couple days uh, this will probably be uploaded tomorrow on monday and Hopefully I make it to the surf show on, on Thursday. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Um, yep, I'm out for at least 10 days. Hopefully I can get some fishing in. The goal was to start today and fish every single day of the fall run, but it's not gonna happen until I'm healed. But if you guys want, I opened a Patreon account to where you can win free merch and some fishing reels. So if you want to uh, help this channel, donate um, a few bucks a year. We, once we reach like a certain goal, I believe it's like $500 a month and then $1,000 a month, I'm giving away a bunch of different reels and stuff. So I'll leave that in the link below. So if you guys want to help us out, that'd be fantastic. Uh, really, really appreciate it. And uh, thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos lately. It means a lot. We've been growing a lot. And it, it means so much. It really does. Uh, all right, guys. <laughs> Time to go. Stay real, guys. Have some fun on the water and smooch and release. I would hit the camera, but can't really move like that. Peace. See you later. Goodbye.